Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled Planet X and the recent ocean recession event in Thailand. Now, the ocean has been receding to abnormal levels all over the world for at least a year now. And you may look at Article 188 entitled What is Causing the Ocean to Recede All Over the World for more details on that. One such event has recently occurred in Thailand. In all these events, the water returns after some hours or days, and thus the ocean level returns to normal, indicating that this is a tide or a tidal event, but with a much greater degree of ocean level change than the normal tides in the Earth's oceans. Since these are clearly tidal events, and since we know what causes normal tides in the Earth's oceans, it should not be too difficult to figure out what is causing these abnormal tidal events. A tide is caused by a weak gravitational force exerted by a massive object close to the Earth. The force is called a tidal force, and it is normally caused by the Moon. And here we see an empty beach in Thailand, and this is due to another unprecedented ocean recession event, which indicates that the Earth is being affected by an object exerting a tidal force on the Earth, similar to what the Moon does in order to give rise to tides in Earth's oceans. And here we see some boats in a harbor sitting on the muddy bottom, and this is related to this Thailand uh, recession event, which occurred at the end of June of 2018. So these abnormal tidal events have to be caused by an object which is exerting a stronger tidal force on the Earth's oceans than uh, the Moon. And the Moon's gravitational pull on the Earth has a much stronger effect on Earth's tides than the Sun's, although the Sun's gravitational pull on the Earth is much stronger than the Moon's. This occurs because the Moon is much closer than the Sun to the Earth. Thus, the object or objects causing these huge tidal changes have to be coming even closer than the Moon to the Earth. And here we have illustrated how uh, the Moon's tides are uh, produced by the Moon. And this is due to the Moon's effect on ocean tides. And the Moon's influence, uh, as I said, is tidal in nature. And it's due to its attraction on the ocean, which is much stronger on the ocean that is right below the Moon than on the ocean that's a little further away. And this therefore causes the ocean to bulge out towards the Moon underneath the Moon. And so this is actually a, a difference in uh, the gravitational pull. It's much stronger underneath the Moon than it is in an adjacent region. And because the Moon is so much closer to the Earth, it, even though its gravitational attraction uh, to the Earth is much weaker than the Moon's, it causes a much larger bulge. This is the bulge caused by the Sun. As you can see it's about half the size of the bulge produced by uh, the Moon's gravitational pull on the Earth. And this is uh, therefore because the Moon is so much closer than the Sun. The Sun's gravitational attraction is actually 180 times stronger than the Moon's. Now, uh, no known object in the solar system comes closer to Earth than the Moon, which suggests that an object which is not a known object in the solar system is responsible for these unprecedented tidal events. Now, we know that a system of stellar cores have invaded the solar system. These objects are usually found in the Sun's corona, since it is now known, although still strongly denied by the powers that be, that the solar system has been invaded by these objects, which are likely to now be hosted by all the planets in the solar system from which they will be drawing energy, since they seem to be able to draw energy from any celestial object, which generates energy in its core as a result of radioactive decay.
you may look at article 240 entitled planet x system effect on radioactive decay rate and heating of planets for more details on that and here we see some of the stellar cores that are being hosted by uh, the sun or have been captured by the sun they are captured in um, because they are depleted in energy and the sun is generating energy so they are there to absorb that energy and thus they are attracted to the energy that the sun generates but other uh, the planets in the solar system also generate energy and therefore are also attractive to these objects so um, you can see this is a spherical object here we can see it is striped you can see the tribes uh, follow the contours of the object which is obviously a spherical object and here we see another one obviously making a matter connection with the sun and this is one of the ways that these objects draw energy from other celestial objects in this case from the sun so the tidal event that has recently occurred in Thailand is evidence to the fact that the Earth is under the influence of members of the planet X system of stellar cores. But beyond that, there is now direct observational evidence that members of this system of, of stellar cores has been captured or are being hosted by the Earth. And you may look at article 243 entitled Earth hosting at least three planet X system objects for more details. These objects are often much larger than the Earth and therefore much more massive than the Earth, but yet exert a very weak gravitational force because of their depleted energy status. When they come very close to the Earth, they would have a tidal effect on the Earth consistent with the Thailand tidal event. And this tidal effect is illustrated here, our stellar cores. Here we have a very small one. Some of them will be much larger than the Earth, and, uh, but uh, I've drawn a, a small one here. It will still have a powerful um, gravitational pull on the ocean, especially if it comes so, so close as I have uh, drawn it here. And it will cause the ocean to pile up underneath it. So its gravitational pull on the ocean right underneath it would be strong because of its closeness, but it would be weak elsewhere. And this will therefore produce uh, this kind of tidal force, um, which is a differential gravitational force. It's not about the strength of the gravitational force, but the fact that it's much stronger in this region underneath the object and much weak elsewhere. So, but these objects would also draw on um, the Earth's atmosphere and this would lead to extreme low pressure regions, thus extreme storms. And you may look at article 227 entitled Stellar Course Affecting Earth and Possible Connection to Volcanic Eruptions for more details on this. And of course, when, with the ocean piling up underneath the stellar core, any coastline in adjacent regions would experience a loss of ocean level uh, with the ocean moving away from them. And this is basically what is observed in regions like Thailand. The stellar cores are often observed making connections in the sun's atmosphere or corona and are therefore likely to come into the Earth's atmosphere and make a connection with the Earth so that it is also able to rotate with the Earth and thus appear to stay in the same position in the sky for certain periods of time. And this is exactly what has been observed. And here we see an object, uh, a stellar core, and you can see it's emitting red light. It's got a diffuse uh, uh, layer of material around it, like a coma that we see with comets. And it's obviously ionizing this material. And this is what you'd expect if it's making an electrical connection with the Earth's atmosphere and drawing material from the Earth. And this object was uh, not observed to move across the sky. It seemed to stay in the same position for 
quite uh, a certain period of time. And this is consistent with the stellar cores that also make connections with the Sun within the Sun's atmosphere and therefore then rotate with the Sun. So in conclusion, the recent unprecedented tidal event in Thailand is further evidence that the Earth has captured or is hosting members of the planet X system of stellar cores, which are therefore absorbing photon energy from the Earth, thus causing the Earth to warm up from the core, which will have the effect of causing the Earth to expand and fissure, and which also uh, will lead to volcanic eruptions to continue to increase in frequency and severity. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.